Hey, hello everyone, Drake Robinson here. I know, I've been gone a little bit. I'm sorry, y'all. No excuse. Not gonna make any excuse. You know, it's good, guys. We have to, we have to work ten times as harder, so, you know, I'll just leave that there. Um, I mean, I really want to talk about this, uh, Rihanna, uh, situation at the Super Bowl. Now, I could care less about football. I think it's a brutal, it's a brutal combat sport in my opinion uh but if those who like it teach their own um but the halftime show with the uh, rihanna and her uh having to make this big spectacle for whatever reason that she's pregnant i you know i i don't get these modern day females you know i will never understand them but the one thing i will main thing i will never understand is why I have, why they have to make this big spectacle about them you know carrying a child it really shouldn't be a spectacle. It really should be a personal thing between the you know, perfect world, which we don't live in. But if we did, uh, where uh, it's between the mother and the uh, the father, the preferably the good guy father, um, which is never the case. But you know, realistically, it should be a thing with the the mother and the father and the family and the friends and you know the. The, like, the whole world doesn't need to know that you're carrying a child. Like, in my opinion. Like, like of course, them being celebrities, they're gonna know regardless. But, like, why make it a giant, you know? Oh, my gosh, you're pregnant. Uh, what's your face? Kiki Palmer did it on Saturday Night Live. Uh, I think Cardi B did it. You know, it's like, trying to hide it when she was obviously pregnant. But, like, uh, that's kind of... I would, I would uh, consider that making a spectacle of it. You kind of hide it instead of just coming out and saying it. But, yeah, it's just, like, I don't get a lot... Of, I don't know if that's an ingraining thing. Like, yeah, we're pregnant. We we did the, you know what, dirty. Now you're all gonna know about it. I feel like it's kind of an ingraining thing as well, per me personally. Like, because it just comes off as so unauthentic. Like, you're just carrying a child to... Uh, child to, uh... Uh, not really because you're happy, but because you have to make... You have to... You know, you have to be pregnant in order to carry on the blue pill line. Toe the blue pill line. And, you know, your child is going to fall right into... Right into that line. That's just my opinion there. <laughs> But, uh, also, it also, which is why I've also never understood, like, gender reveal parties and all that, like, that's another spectacle, like, I just feel like it's so unnecessary, like, uh, cause, like, what if it's a, what if it's a, a female or, or a guy, and the person bought the wrong stuff, or they had to return all that stuff, like, I've just never gotten that, um, also expose something. Now, uh, have y'all ever noticed something, have y'all ever noticed that the most talented people in Hollywood, Hollyweird as I call it, Blue Pillwood, um, are the, are, are the most talented people, I guess in the public eye, I should say, are the most underrated people in the world. Like, you will never see these people at the Grammys, performing at the halftime shows. Um, you never see them receiving awards for their songs, which are ten times better than a lot of these, you know, garbage tracks we get nowadays, songs we get nowadays. <clears throat> uh, people like Andy Grammer, people like, uh, uh, what's his name, Jason Moretz, what's his name, uh, Chris Allen, Nathan Sykes. Uh, people like, people all like that, you know, who, who are just so criminally underrated. And they're, and they're super freaking talented. Like, I've listened to all the songs. There's even a female, uh, ch uh, who is underrated, uh, uh, and I suppose she's underrated because, you know, she doesn't sing about, you know, her, her uterus like a Cardi B or Megan Stallion or, uh, what's her face, um... Uh, this up and coming girl, uh, uh, Rilla, Rilla something. Um, uh, she doesn't go around, you know, uh, pushing the societal garbage and ingraining young kids into thinking, you know, singing about your private parts are okay. 
uh, in any way, shape, or form. Um, she hasn't gone around singing about that stuff. She sings about stuff that, you know, uh, uh, is, you know, what I believe a majority of female singers and male singers should be singing about stuff from the, the heart, you know? Uh, it's a girl, I forgot her name, I think it's Kobe something, Kobe, I forgot her last name. It's a girl that sings, like, uh, when you need me, I promise I will never let you down. Um, I consider her underrated talent for the reasons I just specified, you know, she doesn't go around singing about that stuff. Uh, about that gross, you know, ingraining blue pill stuff. So that's probably why she's underrated. Uh, you know, uh, society would rather push, you know, the people who do sing about that stuff, that horrible stuff, um, like the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallions, the, uh, Rilla Chick. They would push them to the moon because they, they, you know, they're the ones that, uh, get those Grammy Award nominations, they're the ones who get the halftime performances, the BET, what, uh, 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 live performances, live performances on late night talk shows, they get that stuff, the, the, those underrated people I talk about, that you will never see them ever, uh, getting any of that stuff, and they honestly deserve it, because they're actually talented, they actually, you know, they actually, they, they sing about positive stuff, they're really, uh, they, they deserve it more, because those are, those are actually the, the the good guys of Hollywood. All those people I just named, the good guys of Hollywood. And that Kobe chick, she is uh, one of the very few unengrained uh, by society females in Hollywood. So, you know, one of the very few. Uh, uh, but all those good guys who, who are actually talented, who actually work their butts off, you will never see them ever in the light of day they will never get the light of day, uh, besides performing in, 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 in like, the local areas. They, and, and, you know, like I said, it's a backwards world, so that's probably why, so that's more than likely the the reason why it is. And that's so sad, too, but, you know, what can we do in a world just so backwards and so, you know, cruel? Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, I just wanted to get on here and sing uh, sing, I can't sing, but, you know, uh, yeah, I just want to get in here, give my little two cents on that, uh, halftime show, um, I really could care less about it, because I could care less about football, to tell you the truth, um, uh, Rihanna, uh, it's whatever, you know, as far as her talents goes, uh, I just don't get this big spectacle that she had to make about the fact she's pregnant, oh, I, I get it, it's because she wanted to, uh, uh, make, uh, uh, I guess, you know, toe the blue pill privilege line of, oh, yeah, I'm pregnant, by the way. Yeah, I'm having this, I want everyone to know that. Just so, I want it for the record. I want it, you know, on live TV that I'm pregnant. <laughs> because, yeah, that, 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 uh, makes the fact that you're pregnant even more special, I guess. I don't know. I, I, I will never get in the mind of a blue pillar ever, so, you know. Yeah, so, uh, I just wanted to give my two cents there. Sorry, uh, I've been a little lacking on videos lately. I've just been, uh, really busy. Um, but I'm back now. I, so my schedule is cleared up, so I'll get on some other stuff. Um, yeah, I'm out.